Welcome, Mark with Diesel Laptops here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change some settings in your Dell test software, such as language, software theme, and units of measurement. Side note, I have already registered my Dell test kit. If you're unsure of how to do this, please watch the video on how to re register your new Dell test kit. Let's start off by opening up the desktop launcher by double clicking on the icon and selecting Dell test from underneath our diagnostic section. Once we arrive at the main connector screen, we will go to the preferences tab. It's this icon at the top of the screen, three dots, three lines. When I open this up, I can come in and go to my configuration options. Here, I can set up my language by selecting in the circle and hitting the check mark to change the language. You can come down and do graphic customization, which means that you can set the theme. That's going to be the different windows are going to be different color schemes here. So we have our standard blue, and then we can change it to agricultural green, off highway yellow, or red, whatever your preference is. And then you can select the opening mode of the initial display, whether you want it to be auto or manual mode. You can adjust your screen resolution down here, and then for more information on display options, click the blue hyperlink. You can set up your expert mode here. You can see your expert mode declaration of responsibilities. Click on the check mark, enter in your expert mode. You'll need this from the activation process, and then click activate expert mode. And you can click the check mark to continue. Units of measurement, you can come in here and set up any units of measurements with your personal preference. And then you can also disable or enable unit conversion. And then you can also, at the very bottom right, hit reset values to default. Messages, you can select your options for your different messages here. If we come into vehicle system scan process configuration, you can set it up to always perform a system scan, always perform a system scan plus read fault codes, or choose between the two previous options in the separate window. From here, you can also set it up for the vehicle scan for the HD 9 pin. You can set it up for Volvo Mac and light medium duty OBD process configuration. I'm going to exit out of here. We'll exit out. If we come into Jaw Test Link, you get information about your diagnostic in interface. You can obtain your MAC address. Come to the left. We can select communication mode, whether we want to hardwire our communication box to our computer or transmit messages via Bluetooth from the vehicle. And then you can always come down here and hit connection test to make sure and verify that you have a good connection. Under vehicle bus communication, you can test that or update the diagnostic interface. You can always check on your version. Exit out of here. Under Jaw Test Feedback, you can send direct messages to Jaw Test about the program. Your License tab, you can come in here and see the status of your license. You can also do an update to check it from that moment on. The License Process and Renewal, you can come into the License Management from here. Or if you have one of the old scratch off cards, you can introduce a license code here and renew your software. The Data Player, when I click on this icon, this is going to let you view your data that you saved during a session, your recordings. You can come into your data player, select a file that you want to view by clicking the file on the right hand side, click on it, and click start. And it'll be, begin to play that data file for you. Up here at the top, you have a play button, you have a stop button, a rewind, and fast forward. You can view the fault codes that were going on at that time, your system data at that moment, and your monitoring. And like I said, you can hit the play button and watch these parameters as they go. You can select these parameters and display them in a graph by clicking the icon on the far right and then you can filter out your graph however you need to. You can hit the back, and then you can hit this clock gauge here, and this is going to bring up your dashboard views. When you're done, you can click the finish button here at the top, and that's going to exit you out of the data player. Come back into our preferences tab, and the last one is your brand model personalization. You click on this, you can display your list, customize brands, or add new brands. We'll click the check mark to accept, and we can exit out of here. Thank you for viewing this video. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any further questions, please reach out to our tech support department at 888-983-1975, option 2. Thank you.